The college football world got shocking news today, and that is a vast understatement. In fact, it's probably the biggest understatement that you could say regarding this situation, but the greatest college football coach of all time, Nick Saban, has hung up the headset and retired. And to say that I am stunned is also a vast understatement. To say that I am shocked just doesn't tell you the emotions that I am feeling right now. As a college football fan, I've always grown up with Nick Saban being a coach on the sideline. For my 21 years of life on this planet, and as a college football fan, all I have known is Nick Saban being a coach on that sideline every single Saturday. And I won't get that anymore and neither will you sorry shouldn't have used i i don't want to be selfish but we won't get that and anymore and it's saddening and it's shocking and it feels so surreal to say yet it's true and i can't even begin to explain to you just what i'm feeling right now my heart is racing My blood pressure is probably through the roof. And I'm just, I am stunned. I can't believe it. I am at a loss for words. Nick Saban has retired. Let's take a look at some of the things that Nick Saban has done throughout his career just to really put into perspective why he is the greatest college football coach of all time. And I don't think that is arguable, by the way. 292, 71, and 1 with the one tie. That is his record as a collegiate head coach. And Nick Saban, for every five games that he coached, his team won four of those. And it only gets more impressive when you take a look at where he is famous. I guess he's famous throughout doing a lot of things at a lot of coaching positions, but where he really grew at the University of Alabama. The Alabama Crimson Tide, when Nick Saban was the head coach, went 201 and 29. That's an 874 win percentage, which is ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. That is crazy. Nick Saban has won seven national championships, one all the way back in 2003, 2009, 2011, 2012, and then in the college football playoff era, 2015, 2017, and 2020. He has won 11 SEC titles. He has won his division 12 times. He has numerous Coach of the Year awards that I could sit here all day and spell out for you. He has overseen many Heisman winners, most notably during his time at Alabama. I believe he oversaw four or five. He's the greatest guy to ever do it, and it will not be passed. I think to really put it into perspective, which, again, I I know I seem very discombobulated and stuff here, but I'm going to put together a sort of looking back on his legacy and looking back at his career video that will be up on the channel sometime during the winter and spring. That'll be like my big project that I I dedicate things to um, and I'll really show out for that video. I promise it'll be a lot more in-depth and a lot more informational and uh, than this video right here. But I wanted this video to be my genuine reaction. I didn't want to edit this. I just wanted to sit down and talk about it. But the impact that Nick Saban has had on so many people is greater than a whole lot of people that I know, that I'm familiar with, that I know of. The impact that Nick Saban has had on the sports world, on people in general, on the University of Alabama has been so, so great. There are people that are coaching right now, Kirby Smart, Lane Kiffin, Steve Sarkeesian, that would not be coaching and having good success, mind you, if it were not for Nick Saban. 
There are people that are probably coaching at the University of Alabama or other programs that wouldn't be doing so if not for Nick Saban. There are people in the sports media field who are play-by-play -play commentators and journalists and writers and bloggers and sideline reporters and camera operators who wouldn't be doing so if it wasn't for Nick Saban. The amount of people that Nick Saban has inspired is an insane number, including myself. Now, I know some of you out there may be thinking, what's a boy from Columbus, Ohio, have to take away from Nick Saban? Well, just the passion and the energy that Nick Saban has coached with and the amount of knowledge and just how much he loved the sport of, of football is heartwarming and it's motivational. And I don't care if you're a football fan or not. Nick Saban should inspire you. And to the people out there that rub their hen hands together with their evil smile and evil laugh every year and say, I hope this is the year that Bama falls off, even you cannot possibly, it is just not possible, cannot possibly sit there and deny the greatness that was the University of Alabama under Nick Saban. And that was Nick Saban, period. You can't deny it. Nick Saban was great. Nick Saban was generational. In fact, Nick Saban was once in a lifetime. At least for however many years I may have left, I don't think I'm ever going to see a coach quite like Nick Saban again. And I don't even mean in just the college football terms. If you were to take every single sport at every single level of competition, very, very few people stack up to what Nick Saban has done at the University of Alabama and across his coaching career. Very, very few people across all levels of competition across every athletic sport that you can possibly think of. Nick Saban is one of the best, not only in the sport of college football, but in terms of coaches across the, the spectrum of whatever it is you want to call it. Across the coaching spectrum, that'd probably be a better way to describe it. Come on, Nate. But I just, I, I can't believe that I'm sitting here and talking about this. Nick Saban, if somehow, some way, you are watching this video or to any family members or teammates or coaches or anything that Nick Saban has inspired, has coached, it's just, it, it's incredible. But again, to Nick Saban, if by somehow, some way you get a hold of this video, I think I speak for all college football fans. At least I hope I do. When I say that Nick Saban, you have changed lives and you have inspired so many people, including myself. Now, I am a sports junkie and a sports nerd, but I don't even think I would be in the sports media realm if it wasn't for guys like Nick Saban, and if it wasn't for Nick Saban himself. Again, the amount of passion and energy that one man can put into something and to see what the amount of work and what greatness looks like, it's inspiring. And I don't care who you are. Nick Saban has changed the lives of so many young men and have changed the lives of so many people of the fans, of the college football community, of the players and coaches. And I, I guess I just want to say thank you for everything that you have brought to college football, for everything that you have brought to the sports world, for everything that you have taught mentally or physically to anyone out there, including myself. You may not have realized it, but I did learn things from Saban. And again, we'll dive more into all of that in my little deep dive career breakdown video that I do plan on doing, by the way. But man, 
news like this, I also don't think is something that you can sit down and just simply report on. I think because of the type of coach that Nick Saban was, you need to have a video like this of just pure shock and awe of just sitting down, pressing the record button and letting your emotions flow, th flow free. But to, oh man, to, to, to Nick Saban, I hope you enjoy re retirement. It is well earned. It is well earned. I mean, the man is 72 years old. I thought he was going to coach until he couldn't. And obviously, he's going to spend some time now to enjoy life outside of football, and as he should. Now, there are obvious questions to come out of this entire scenario. I hear some people out there saying, oh, man, the dynasty is dead. Alabama's going to fall off. And to that, I say, no, they're not. I do not believe they are. You have guys like Dan Lanning. You have guys like Lane Kiffin. You have guys like maybe even a Steve Sarkeesian that would leave their current job to go coach at the University of Alabama. Now, who they hire, I know a lot of people have said Dan Lanning is that front runner. Uh, Lane Kiffin is, I believe, an obvious choice. Uh, I've seen some people even mention Kalen DeBoer. Mike Vrabel, who just got fired from the Tennessee Titans, is, I think, definitely a candidate there as well. Um, but this is something that, again, I, I do think we're going to get a new head coach for Alabama relatively quickly as I think Alabama knew about this for quite some time. And Nick Saban, great job on keeping it hidden because, uh, I mean, this is exactly, I think, the reaction, maybe not that he wanted, but the reaction that is deserved of someone of Nick Saban's caliber. And again, to Nick Saban, if you somehow watch this video, thank you for inspiring so many people, including myself. You have no, no idea. And I will miss seeing you on the sideline every single Saturday, as I think a lot of college football fans will. It is a bittersweet farewell as Alabama fell short to the eventual national champion, Michigan Wolverines. Um, but Nick Saban has nothing left to prove. And I apologize if the video quality is spiking here. I'm seeing that, and I'll go ahead and wrap this video up. But, all right, hopefully it is a little bit better now. But, again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned on the little career deep dive that I have coming out. It will be um, a, a career deep dive on Nick Saban and the impact that he had across the sport of college football and to so, so many people. But that's going to wrap up this video. Nick Saban has retired. Who does Alabama go get next? I want your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, remember to play hard, but tailgate harder. Man, college football is going to look so different without Nick Saban. It's going to look vastly different, and it's going to be very interesting to see who takes over for him. But again, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Again, play hard, but tailgate harder. And I'll see all you guys in the next video. Goodbye.